The Securities and Exchange Commission says the process of financing the 2017 budget will affect private investment in the country. Head of the Commission's Economic Research and Policy Management Division disclosed this at a business seminar held in Lagos. Our correspondent, Abiola Ismail, now reports. Nigeria is currently experiencing perhaps its most challenging economic situation. Nearly every business in Nigeria is affected one way or the other by the current economic realities. It is partly to help find a solution to the challenges that the Securities and Exchange Commission gathered business experts and professionals in policy formulation and academic backgrounds to brainstorm on the implications of the budget to the capital market in Nigeria. Director General of SEC, Maurice Guazo, made it clear that the Nigerian capital market will play an important role in the economic recovery of the nation by fostering capital. He, however, says large budget deficits could affect stock prices and undermine investors' confidence. The primary concern for investors is how the twin issues of budget deficit and public debt could impact interest rates and inflation. Increasing level of public debt and continued budget deficits naturally lead to higher interest rates. Some of the companies that have been privatized and were told that there's a close in the sale and um, ag agreement that after a certain period of time they ought to be listed. That committee will have a very close interface with the BPE to now ask some of the critical questions. What is happening with these companies? Why haven't they been brought to the market? And they also pay visits to those companies. So. Locally enough, um, like I said, a committee has already been set off and they've done, been doing quite well um, last year. I think this week they are also meant to be in an Abuja for similar advocacy. At least maintain a high interest rate. Uluwo Kiri says the expansionary 2017 budget is necessary to return the economy to the path of growth and recovery, stating that in financing the budget deficit, the debt segment of the capital market will derive some immediate benefits. Also, stock performance of companies that produce or supply goods to government priority sectors will likely improve. So this list maintains a high interest rate. In other words, budget deficit, high government expenditure can make you have a high inflationary environment. In addition to that, you also need a high interest rate for the government to be able to sell its instruments in order to finance the, the, the budget deficit. Therefore, Higher government expenditure is likely to lead to higher inflation and higher interest rate. Higher inflation and higher interest rate, of course, higher inflation implies a kind of macroeconomic uncertainty. So investment are likely to drop, especially when it's very high, because you need a level of inflation before you can make investment. You want prices to rise, because that also plays on the, on the psyche of investors. But when you have very big level of inflation, people are likely to say, wait a minute, I'm not likely to, to invest. In other words, Budget deficit can be inflationary and inflation can be bad for, for the capital market. A panel of discussants, which include economists, investment bankers and top business leaders, gave divergent views on how the budget could be adequately implemented. The reason we have low investment, which of course is impacting the capital market and other values for investment, is because we spend more for consumption than for investment. And so ultimately, both at the federal level, sub-national level, corporate level, and even individual households, we spend quite a lot. But a lot of this spending is on conspicuous, conspicuous consumption. We need to find a way to bring up our own economy via our own bootstraps. And those are the SMEs that are trying today to do that. It's much easier to just try and buy FX and keep it, rather than why would you try and hire more people, you know, put things into an infrastructure that you're not even sure you'll be able to sell. As I was looking through the budget, I looked at certain things like power. I expect power, it will be good for everybody. But of late, the situation in the country has been so dire that one begins to ask the question, you know, what exactly are we spending, I think, the 16 trillion they said we spent over the last few years? If we do not provide infrastructure, if we do not allow for an economic environment where the government, people can borrow at reasonable rates, I wouldn't know how the economy will recover. Recovering at 1%, 1.2%, when your population is growing at about 3%, the level of poverty will keep increasing. 
I looked at a uh, December edition of Harvard Business Review. Nigeria has fallen out of emerging markets and even fallen out of frontier markets. Let's be efficient in what we do. If the private sector has the resources, if the private sector has the capacity, then it is important that you create an enabling environment to encourage that private sector to come in. And one thing that clearly doesn't encourage the private sector is when you have an FX regime that moves uh, in whatever direction the wind blows. You know, so there has to be a bit of uh, certainty around that, you know, because a lot of people have invested significantly in this economy. The federal government has proposed a budget of 7.298 trillion naira for the 2017, with an estimated 4.94 trillion naira of aggregate revenue available to fund it. The fiscal plan will result in deficit of 2.36 trillion naira for 2017, which is expected to be financed mainly through borrowing.